mistakenly walked away thinking he had been given a standing eight count. And there's no standing eight. That was, of course, look out. Look out. And very wisely, the referee, Max Parker Jr., able to get in. There is no standing eight here in Tampa. And that is the first knockdown of the bout. And Parker, looking to take it off, and he's fine remaining in the well. He can't go on. He cannot go on. He cannot go on. A driving is boy. The referee is letting it continue. And that'll do it. Time running out. And John Mugabe. John Mugabe. And that bout was postponed. And he beat Romero. And here is Valdivia flying pressure. With his complete repertoire. He's a little too frightened of Blue Boom right now. He's in awe of him. And that's when it's going to be all over. Oh, and with the right hand. Turning Torres down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. You all right? Where are we at? There's the time left. And the first round. As Van Cini looks to end it. Final second. Baby Paul sending Van Cini to the corner, and Paul says that's it. Second round, get with the crowd. It's over. All over. Kid Akeem made good his prophecy. And no real complaint. We'll see the, the right hand using the jab. Now, you use the jab to set up a right like that and throw it that straight. And boy, you are going to land most of the time. Another angle from that. Uh, you see, he, he will use the jab as a rain finder and quickly comes with the right. And what leverage and power he got into that right hand. Condition, then you can carry out the maneuvers. If you're not in good physical condition, you can't. Bottom line. And there it is. A matter of time. Never, never land. Look at the eyes. He's out. They shouldn't even count. That's all. Good solid right hand by Montiel got in. And there's the left hook. And Montiel is in trouble on the ropes where he does not want to be i tell you what chris those punches look a lot more dangerous than what they really were he's montiel is rolling with those punches he turns his head right with the with the right hand or the left hook so they look a lot more effective and than what they really continually are continually uh, trying to flick the jab oh left hand bomb Down and it's over but he didn't, he didn't roll that punch no he certainly didn't that's it montiel jumps up like he wants to continue and a joyous Cecilio Espino. Up inside. Wide open. There it is. A solid left. The right did get in. Don't wait. Well, he certainly looks taller, and he certainly looks like he has a longer reach, too. That's evidence in that jab. Yeah. Right, and those three jabs right off the bat. Another Ooh. good jab from McClellan. Put it up. Sullivan missing with the right. And again, snapping the head back of Sullivan. McClellan does with the jabs. Well, the more we talk to him, oh, the right hand staggers him. And another one, and down he goes. Fight's on. That's it. 40 seconds into the fight, Gerald McClellan with the first hard punch he landed. 
Universal for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Angel Hernandez showing himself very well here over the first three rounds against the hometown hero and legend Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez seems frustrated. And if this goes all the way, and I don't think it will, to a decision, would the judges be brave enough to give Angel a decision? I doubt it. Angel in a lot of trouble. Angel Hernandez in trouble, but trying to fight back. Let's see if he can get out of this corner. He turns him around, right, right. and he's putting his head right, right. in his face. Right. Ain't it a go. Hernandez is looking right into the eye of a tornado here. Final 30 seconds of round four. Oh, a staggering right hand by Chavez. Now he goes to the body. Ferocious shot. punishment now and he will survive the round for 12 tremendous action from Mexico City Hernandez back up on his bicycle blood dripping from underneath the nose of Hernandez and inside the mouth that means he's caught inside the mouth as well as the nose Blood on the bridge of Chavez's nose. Blood all over the shirt of Arthur McKinney. And he isn't even fighting. But he's already taken a punch or two. A straight right by Chavez. Chavez punishes the body when he gets a man in trouble. Those left hooks to the side. And it sounds like a bull ring now. Well, those are the horns he said he didn't have. He's feeling them on the sides and right on his face. Chavez alternating the attack. Body, head, body, head. This is quick finish. Finish Chavez. Punishing blows by Chavez. This could do it. It's all over. The punches of Gutierrez seem to lack the power to me, Joe. Well, he looks like he's got decent snap on it, but uh, well, what's, what's taken away from the effect of this is Lopez is blocking him. Lopez, another overhand right, and another one. And backs up Gutierrez with his combination. And the uppercut from Lopez. He's got Gutierrez in trouble. Lopez all over Gutierrez. Gutierrez. That's it. And that's the fight. Tony Lopez successfully defends his IBF Junior Lightweight Championship with a sixth round knockout. Pounds. By the way, in the win by Darren Van Horn to win over Lindell Holmes when he finally put him away in the 11th, we saw a little different Van Horn, a little bit more patient, did we not, Michael? Well, he... The referee, Lou Moretti, saying no as Jarvis gamely tried to get up. But Darren Van Horn, with one punch, has turned it around and defended his title in the third round. That was some shot. Well, Darren Van Horn wanted to have a smashing performance. He certainly did. My, my, Lightning what a Lightning striking. So it's Van Horn, who had had two solid rounds, number one and two, and then just unleashed an attack with one punch on John Jarvis and the fight is over.
give Gonzalez credit. He is coming back as Carvajal did. But I'll tell you what, that should have been a knockdown because he went reeling against the ropes and only the ropes kept him up. Again, the right hand by Carvajal. He hurts Gonzalez with a right and then a left. Another right and left. And Carvajal is fighting his way back. What a battle. What a testimony to two great tough champions this one is. Unbelievable. And there were questions about both coming into this fight. There are no questions now. Skill-wise, courage-wise, and power-wise, they have shown what they have. And it's plenty, and it's the best this division has to offer. Oh, well, there's no question about it. Well, as long as there was no knockdown, it would have to be a very one-sided, impressive round for Carvajal. Oh! He's got Gonzalez down, and he may not get up. Four. Only... He's not going to get up. It's not knocked into the ropes. The ropes keeping him from going down. And now Carvajal hit him with the left hand and as Gonzalez reached for him and Carvajal stepped away, Chiquita went to the deck. There's the right. I think that punch hurt him, but this left There's hook the left. right on the chin. I don't think you can land a more compact left hook. Tommy, remember I was telling you that Danny Carvajal said they're going to show the right hand, show the right hand in the early part of the fight and try to take him out with the left hook. Exactly what happens. And that is exactly what did take place. And the, the fact that this was such a short, compact left hook, I think is what made it really work for him. Well, it's interesting. Carvajal had won only one round. He was trailing by four points. He had been knocked down twice. First in the second and again in the fifth. 